What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T with the Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But I definitely want to go ahead and get into this memo that you guys are seeing right here. Um, the NFL did send this out on Thursday informing all teams that the league and the NFL Players Association have agreed on a minimum salary cap of $180 million for the 2021 season. So that's kind of $5 million more than um, I guess it was stated before. And of course, that is not the final number as noted in the second paragraph of this memo, um, but they will advise all clubs as soon as the salary cap is finally set. Now we already know due to this coronavirus pandemic, the NFL teams have attributed to about 4 billion revenue losses. And um, that just kind of puts everything, you know, in a tight situation right now. And what does that mean for the Atlanta Falcons? As you already know, we are over the projected caps um, number and we just have to make some significant cuts and restructure deals just to get in line with the cap. Um, but of course, you already know that um, we've started that. We made some necessary moves to get in compliance with the cap. Um, on Thursday, the team did announce that we released safety Ricardo Allen, defensive end Allen Bailey, and we waived quarterback Kirk Benkert. Um, that move cleared up a much needed 10.75 million of cap space for the Falcons. So even though that's, you know, still got a lot more things that we need to do. So we have to make some decisions with the Falcons roster over the coming weeks and months, especially with the new league year and free agency um, that actually begins on March 17th. So um, these decisions just won't be easy ones at all but um as noted um the league does allow teams to roll over the unused cap space from um the previous season so that will give the falcons an additional 1.8 million uh, while that's below the club average of 9.8 million still something you know it's still something so be on the lookout for more changes and moves and that free agency opening up um, and we have quite a few um, players on our roster that are on that list of free agencies, unrestricted, restricted, etc. cetera. So um, it's going to be interesting, you guys. So what do you think should be the next cut, trade, et cetera? Uh, what should we be doing in the draft? I would like to hear from you guys. Let me know how you feel um, the Falcons should move moving forward, okay? But that's all I got for you guys today. I'll give you an update on that salary cap decision once it is set in stone. Um, but let's look forward to March 17th, people. All right. Until the next time, this is Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're waiting on. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. We're really trying to get to a thousand. We're almost there, though. But until the next time, this is I'm Atlanta Falcons Nation, and we're out. Peace.